I've got a free gift for you. Happy New Year. You want to go deeper in your prayer life in 2024? You're going to want to download my free resource, 24 Ways to Go Deeper in Your Prayer in 2024. You're going to want this. It's got practical tips, practical strategies. You may be doing some of this already, but you can go deeper. I know I've got some new stuff for you. So check it out, awakeningprayerhubs.thinkific.com. Let me spell that for you. Awakening Prayer Hubs, you know that part, dot thinkific, T-H-I-N-K-I-F-I-C dot com. Awakening Prayer Hubs dot thinkific dot com. You can also find it on my link tree, link tree Jennifer LeClaire. Check that out. It's going to really help you this year. Now, let's get in to the Prayer Warriors podcast. Known prophetically as the first fruit state, Delaware has had plenty of bad fruit in recent years. As a matter of fact, the Center for Opinion Research at Franklin and Marshall College conducted a poll, and the poll shows opinions of citizens tell a much different story than what the media reports about living in Delaware. Only 49% of adults agreed that the state is heading in the right direction. About 18% pointed to specific issues such as crime, drugs, violence, and guns. These were some of the biggest problems. There were other problems, though, that citizens cited, including education, schools, health care, insurance, the economy, immigration, illegal immigrants, and even refugees. Listen, we've got to pray. This week, Awakening Prayer Hubs is praying for Delaware. I want you to join the campaign at awakeningprayerhubs.com slash 5050. You get a heads up. You got Zoom calls. You got prayer points. There's so much more. Join us. We're praying for one state each week throughout the next year up until the U.S. presidential election. So how do we pray? Well, we want to enter into identification or repentance for sexual immorality, abortions, idolatry, bloodshed, including all the way back to a past battle in 1777. Identification or repentance is not repenting for sins you committed, but sins that were committed by people groups that are bringing current issues because of past sins. We want to pray for the fire of God to burn in the hearts of those in the church in Delaware. We want to see revival. We want to ask God to send laborers into the harvest field. We want to pray for a restored joy and hope over the state because we see, you know, so much suicide there, teen sexual violence, opioid overdose, cannabis use, alcohol consumption. We want to pray that the garment of death is removed from the state of Delaware. And we want to bind the spirit of murder, perversion, and addiction that's coming against the state. We also want to lose life, purity, and freedom in the name of Jesus and declare declare to the Lord or by the Spirit of the Lord that Delaware is reconnecting to a place of holiness. There's so much to pray for. We have tons of prayer points. Take your pick. Go over there to awakeningprayerhubs.com slash global prayer room. You're going to find the prayer points for Delaware and a lot of other states. And if you want to go deeper with us, praying for revival, praying for major issues in cities around the world, join with us. If you can pray for 30 minutes a month for your city, you qualify. And come on, guys, who can't pray for 30 minutes a month? I'm looking for a 1,000 prayer warriors to raise up as prayer leaders in the nations. We're in about 100 nations now and going strong. So join the movement. Join a hub, launch a hub, sponsor a hub, or donate to the cause at awakeningprayerhubs.com. And remember the free resource, 24 Ways to Go Deeper in Your Prayer Life in 2024 at awakeningprayerhubs.thinkific. Dot com. God bless you. This is Jennifer LeClaire signing off for the Prayer Warriors podcast. Share this with somebody and let us know how you liked it. Give that five-star review. I'll see you next week. Blessings.